Okay, let's set up the pot player for hardware acceleration. To save your CPU, to save your battery. Okay. Mm. So we just head to the pot player. Performance. Filter controller. Video decoder. Built-in video codec settings. You must check this use DXVA and make sure all the things here is select to uh, VLD uh, not disabled. The VX DXVA2 copy back, you don't have to select it, just use do not use only if you want to use the VMR renderless mode. Okay, you click OK, you go to video, you choose this one, EDR custom percent. Other things you can leave to uh, normal. Here you select disable. If you enable it on the full screen, there's no menu anymore. Uh, here is the surface format. I choose auto select the default ones 8 bit. I guess if you have a 10 bit monitor, I, uh, that will be better, but uh, I don't have a 10 bit monitor, so I just use auto select. Other things you leave as default. Now let's focus on the audio side. Actually the de default setting is awful. The default setting have a normalizer enabled. And this normalizer will make your sound bad. Really bad. So the weak sound become become louder. The louder sound become weaker. It's normalized. Uh, which is bad. So I highly suggest you uncheck this thing. Uh, the final thing is optional. It's still under filter controller, audio decoder, built-in pass-through audio. So if your PC is hooked to a uh, AV receiver connected with 5.1 surround sound or a uh, or someone call it audio amplifier which can decode these AC3, TrueHD, DTS then you want your audio receiver to decode the sound because when they are decoding the sound it sounds better than your PC so you can use this kind of thing, I think default pass-through mixer is good enough. So you just enable this thing for your auto receiver. But for normal PC, laptop, you just disable it because you want to hear the sound locally. Okay. Now the final thing is also optional. It will make your video looks sharper. So you hit video, pixel shader, post resize pixel shader, and you choose sharpen complex two, complex complete X two maybe. I use this one, then it will make your video looks sharper. Okay, let's try it. And uh, we want to monitor the CPU load. Uh, since I'm recording, so it's still consuming something. And the GPU still consuming something. Okay, we are playing this HDR 4K video. 
and see there is a hardware logo here it means it's using hardware acceleration and we see the CPU load on pop layer only 9%, 11%, 30% okay so what if we disable this one? Cut this logo and we will switch to software decode now let's try again it's software decoding so the CPU is 60% 80% 60% 80% wow that's very high it eats you a lot of CPU and the battery so don't do it you want to use hardware acceleration Okay, that's all.